There's a common misconception as to why silos seal. The reality is that they only seal for fumigation purposes, not to keep insects out. Now unfortunately, there's still a few growers who have made this mistake and have ended up with mouldy grain or damaged silos as a result of sealing them at the wrong times. When should we seal our silos? Well, the only time we should be sealing silos is for fumigation and that's for the designated period of time as specified by the label. And when we're finished, we should open the silo up so that it can breathe. So when shouldn't we seal a gas tight sealable storage? The first is straight after harvest when we've got warm, moist grain in the silo. That might lead to condensation and potential grain damage. The other is when we've got a part full silo. And when a silo is part full, we end up with a lot more volume of air inside the silo that expands and contracts with diurnal variation. And that can lead us to rapid expansion and contraction and eventual damage of the silo. Now, one of the problems with sealing a silo up for an extended period of time is it can damage the seals on the silo. The seals tend to compress over that period of time and it may inhibit the silo from actually sealing properly and maintaining a seal. And you can see damage on this particular plate uh, that's been caused by compression. Uh, now this seal can be easily replaced and in fact before uh, pressure testing a silo we should go around and check all the sealing faces and seals on a silo uh, to make sure they're in good condition and if they're not, replace them. Operators may choose to fumigate for extended periods provided it's within label specifications but they need to remember that every day a silo is sealed up it is under structural pressure. Remember also that extended fumigation periods mean that the grain will actually be absorbing more fumigant and it may take longer from a venting perspective to get that fumigant back out of the grain. So remember, they're the only times that you really need to be sealing your silo just for fumigation. Check out our other videos uh, about buying silos and also pressure testing.